Hello, this is my quick start guide to free play in a concept mapping software that's actually free. Anyway, once you open the software, you'll be greeted by this screen. From here, you can go to File, New Map, or press Control N to create a new project. Um, you won't be able to see this here, but it'll come up with a window that says Select Template. Just click OK. The standard template will be fine for now. Now we're in our project. It opens it up in a new tab, as you can see here, so you can go back to this tab if you want, or have multiple projects going on at the same time if you hit New Map again or open a project. So anyway, once we get here, it'll say New Mind Map. If we want to change the text in here, we can double-click it, and then say... Now this is our root node, is what it's referred to as, and this is what everything in your mind map branches off of. So we're just going to briefly model the story of the three little pigs. So to create a new fork branching off of this bubble, we can hit the insert key or go to edit, new node, and new child node. Then we can say... Okay, now we can go to this little handle here and click and drag to move around. Now, in the story of the three little pigs, the big bad wolf is scheming against them right now. But instead of creating, like, say, another fork, we move it back here, kinda, and it's clumsy, and instead of doing that, there's a proper way that you're supposed to make branching nodes off of the same node. So, instead of selecting this and pressing insert, which will make something over here, which we don't want, which by the way, if you want to delete something that you did wrong, you can select it and go to Edit, Remove Node, or press del the Delete key. Anyway, so to make that branching node, you select this node and you go to Edit, New Node, Create New Sibling Node, or press Enter. Then we can say... Now, what you're going to be doing is probably a bit more complicated than this, but say you're doing a paper. Let's say English paper, because that's what you're going to call it, right? Um, say you're making a paper and you want to talk about three things. There are three di different sections. You can insert a fork, and select that fork, hit enter create three more. Let's give them some space. And you have section A, section B, and section C. Now from these, we can make branching forks that will talk about all the different things that we want to talk about in these sections. And the power of this is instead of having a rough idea of what you want to do and start writing it and then realize what works and what doesn't and what you want and what you don't want. Instead of doing that, you can see how it, it'll work out ahead of time. You'll have a roadmap and plan as you're writing your paper to refer back to. So it can save a lot of time in that respect. Or if you're working on some big story, I mean, I have um, maps that go out all over the place. They look diabolical. <laughs> It, it really helps you organize your thoughts with more complex things like that, and that's really the power of mapping. Now, one more thing is to, to change the appearance of these forks. Say you want um, them to be bubbles, just like how this is a bubble. You can go to Format, Node Core, and Bubble. Oh, I didn't select that one. Node Core and Bubble. Okay, so... That's the basics to get started in free planning.